live in the air. Oh, we live. Okay, we live. Yes. Oh. So we got Gareth and Nick here with us from Derek Watson Sunny Breeze. Great to have you guys back. How's it, Cat? Cool song, man. Cool Thank song. You, you guys Thank just you. keep churning this stuff out. To be honest, we just we want we make these videos just so that we can get invited back to Expresso because mm. you guys have the best coffee and snacks. Really? Is that why they're here? Because mm. okay. free, free Wi-Fi in the green I thought it had something to do with Danny K's tears that you guys keep sipping on. I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. Sorry, Danny. Sorry about that. But what's the inspiration behind the, this video? So, I, I, did you guys feel like you want to live that splurgy kind of life? Well, as you can see at the beginning of the video, it actually has a disclaimer saying uh, based on actual events. Mm. So, what? Yeah, so Gareth did actually take out a contract at the gym, but clearly, as you can see, he never went what? back. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, you, you were Wi-Fiing there. The, the yeah. fing your fingers are looking very strong, by the Thank you. I, I won't have osteoporosis or arthritis anytime soon. And <laughs> I did, in fact, once marry a plate of ribs. So, wow. Fact. You okay, know. okay, I see. I, what, what do you guys think about the spending culture in South Africa? I mean, obviously this video really is dedicated towards that a little bit. It's just kind of poking fun at it, really. Oh. Well, yeah, I well, think a lot, we're of have a lot of rappers hating you right now because of it. Now. Well, come on, the rappers always about like, hey, check me and my money, and then they're throwing it around, but they never show what happens after that day that they threw the money around. Mm. What happens if there was a strong wind? <laughs> <laughs> Cape Town has very strong winds. But they don't show that side. Look out for random 50 raises floating around because of rappers throwing them in the air. But so, what do you guys suppose or propose people like that should do then? You know, to, to, to curb their spending ways. Because we've got, just we've got a, a big debt problem. They're a bit more sensible and not buy things, extravagant items like two ply toilet paper and. Uh, toilet paper? Paper? <laughs> toilet paper? Toilet paper? Toilet paper. Or I just should... throw your money around indoors where there's no fans. Yes, that too. That could be, that could be a solution. Because otherwise it goes under the couch maybe and then, and then it's yeah. gone. Forever. Okay, well, let, let, let's be real though. Are you guys living it up? Because whenever I see you guys, you're always neatly dressed, you know, collars, t uh, you know, to the top, look at that. It, oh, fresh, fresh. Are you guys living it up? Is this life it? I, um, I recently uh, bought a second home. So wow! Came, well, I call it a home, it's actually a Wendy house in my back garden. <laughs> I say my back garden, Home's but it's a next back man. garden. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm living in a Wendy house in next back garden, basically. Mm. I recently um, bought a meal uh, on my credit card. Yes. Mm. Yeah. This is good. Mm. Yeah. That's living it up right there. Yeah. But uh, working with the Kifnis and, and uh, Jack Parra on this yes. must have been pretty cool as well. Super cool guys. Um, super fun to have them involved. Mm. Jack Parra is a nice guy, isn't he? He's a very cool guy. What did guy. he say about your moustache? Yeah, what did he say about your moustache? He, he didn't really mention it. I think it was that was the one thing we kind of... Uh, when two moustaches that are of... You don't, of, you don't, mix, cross, you don't mix moustaches. You just kind of you give a nod and you go, I oh, know, I don't understand. Right. And I didn't know that Cindy Nell is so immensely talented. Like, she rocks those vocals. Mm. Like, Beyonce, step back, yo. Yeah, I think Cindy Nell is probably the most... Uh, Proficient at singing of all the Xmas South Africans, wouldn't mm, you say? Definitely, yeah. Uh, I think Melinda Bam, sorry, not not quite as <laughs> tuneful. Um, who's your favourite Miss South African, Nick? Eh? Oh, uh, um, Cindy Nell. Oh, good answer. <laughs> good answer. Mm. So, what, what can we expect from you guys in, in the future? Are you working on a new, new video, new music? Yeah. Yes, we like to always work on new things. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there'll be new stuff up on our YouTube channel very shortly. Do you, do, 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 do you plan much? Sunday Blues. No, do you we plan, don't. You don't plan much. Pretty much after this. We plan right interviews now. very well, but everything else we don't. Yes, <laughs> clearly, clearly. Yeah. So where can people follow you and subscribe on that YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. youtubecom <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. my voice is breaking. I'm a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> we uh, youtubecom We are the Sunday Blues. Please subscribe there. Twitter at Derek Watts. D E R I C K. What's What's your favorite website? I enjoy. Um, <laughs> I enjoy there they are. Websites. There they are. Check it out on YouTube. It's called Payday. MySpace is the next big thing. Yeah. MySpace is the next big thing, as you just did. Stay tuned to your field of breakfast. So we'll be right back. Let me see if I can make this pen go. All right, guys, over to you. What are you doing?